Hello world, it's about 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning on Thursday the 7th of, Dece of January 2016 and this is my take on Saturn over this coming year. Saturn's in Sagittarius, so first thing I'll do is look at who it's hitting and who it's blessing. Then we'll look at its aspects and then its sign position and forecast for the year. Saturn is spending most of this year between 9, 10 degrees of Sagittarius and 16, 17 degrees of Sagittarius. So it's effectively hitting those people, especially in the mutable signs, born in the first week, week and a bit of um, December, June, September and March. So let's have a look at these. First ones are the people born in Sagittarius and Gemini. If you're a Sagittarian born between December the 1st and December the 8th, 9th, and if you're a Gemini born between June the 1st and June the 9th, then you're going to be finding that uh, this year is going to be hard work. There's no short way about it. Saturn is going to bring his might to bear on you, but look, he's in conjunction and opposition. And despite what the textbooks and other astrologers say, this is not a difficult aspect. It just involves you putting your nose to the grindstone, getting stuck in, doing everything the hard way and not taking shortcuts and making it bloody hard work. When I say hard work, I don't mean psychological, neurotic, disruptive or chaotic. I mean bloody hard work, physical hard work. So if you're born in the first nine days of, Sep of December or June, then there is no way out. You've got nine months, eight months ahead of your hard work. But if you do it, you will put in place roots and foundations that will then set you up for the long term future and make you very proud of yourself. If you're one of those Virgos born from September the 1st through to September the 9th, um, or March the 1st through to March the 9th, if you're one of those Pisceans who's being affected by Saturn, then you're going to find that this year is also going to be hard work, but it's also going to be more of a challenge. A square is much more challenging than a conjunction or an opposition, in my opinion, and um, it's going to create circumstances outside of your control, but seemingly hold you back, block and limit you in ways that push you into restructuring your life in a way that you may not be entirely comfortable with, at least at the time. But there is no way out of this. Saturn is a hard taskmaster and he is saying you must make changes to reorder your life and to weed and prune and streamline, to cut your losses and let go of those things and people and situations and environments that are past their sell by date and have reached the end of their shelf life. This is not actually loss, although it may seem like it. It's much more weeding and street and clearing the decks so that the future can come in without having to negotiate old baggage. If, however, you're one of the fire signs born from, say, August the 2nd through to perhaps August the 9th, 10th, or um, April the 1st, 2nd through to April the 9th, 10th, then if you're one of these Aries or Leos, then Saturn is smiling very well on you. And over this next nine months, you will all find a degree of slow, steady, solid, gradual, consistent effort being applied, which the more you get into the middle third, the second quarter and the third quarter of a year, you will start to see new boundaries and structures forming. You will see an element of consolidation and establishment forming and things will start picking up. You will be much more proud of yourself. There will be results. If you're an Aquarius born around um, January the 31st, through to, say, February the 7th, 8th, or, uh, for that matter, a Libra born around October the 1st to October the 9th, maybe October the 2nd to October the 10th, you're going to find that this year brings the opportunity for you to bring a much greater degree of discipline, focus, concentration and effort into your work and again it's still hard work but the opportunity for you to take steps forward three steps forward two steps back consistently and regularly over the coming year it's going to be good for all of these people add another four days for all of those months I've mentioned add the time from the ninth through to the 
uh, 12th, 13th of those respective months. And those people, the 9th to the 13th of those months, will find the same effects as I've mentioned for each of the sign happening in the last three months of this year, i.e. October, November and December, as Saturn moves on into Sagittarius. The main aspect of Saturn this year, well, there are three. Saturn is not really aspecting Pluto during 2016. I'm not worried by that. Neither is he really aspecting Uranus. Although over next year, Uranus will spend much, uh, Saturn will spend much of the time trining Uranus and we'll deal with that one another time. Saturn, however, will be squaring Neptune. I've spoken about this a number of times. But Saturn in Sagittarius is trying to establish new boundaries, new rules, new structures concerning truth, loyalty, transparency and justice. And Neptune's dissolving this. So this is going to be an ongoing dissolution and uncertainty this year around the veracity and transparency and honesty of situations being presented to us. Jupiter will square Saturn during April, and I do expect this to manifest in some type of economic and financial restructuring and perhaps explosion. And I don't mean physical, I mean financial and economic. There will be a Mars-Saturn conjunction towards late August, early September, which in itself may be quite uh, a notable event. I'll come to that one later in the year. And by the end of the year, Jupiter is sextiling Saturn, suggesting a degree of economic rebalancing will have been taken place. But after what I've said is coming up in October and November, we'll be due it by then. Saturn's in Sagittarius. Fourteen and a half years ago, 15 years ago, I got my astrological break in a national newspaper where I talked about Saturn in Gemini being opposite Pluto in Sagittarius and the impact that that will have. And I recorded that in August 2001, just before 9-11, with the corresponding troubles and publicity that I got after that. Um, now, 14 and a half years on, Saturn has moved halfway around the sky. But the things that I said at that time are still true. Don't we all individually deserve a greater degree of transparency, honesty, trust, and our own personal relationship with words like faith and openness in our lives? I think we as a species have had enough of being told what to believe, whether it be by the media, the priests, the politicians... Anyone, it's up for us now to make our own choices up. We are an intelligent, involved species, all of us. So with that note, with Saturn in Sagittarius now for the rest of the year, I suggest that a personal mantra, even with Saturn square Neptune over the coming year, is develop your own philosophies and live life according to your own beliefs and truths. Just go out of your way not to harm others or be harmed by others. Saturn in Sagittarius, go walk your talk, folks. See you later. Bye.